All right, here's the team. Uh, uh, we got Pinkurchin. We got Halucha. If you don't know what those two do together, I can't help you. Uh, it's a pretty obvious, uh, it's a pretty simple unburdened strategy. Uh, Haluch is holding the electric seed. When it goes onto the field, an electric terrain is up, which is what Pinkurchin sets with, the, with its ability, Electric Surge. Uh, Halucha absorbs its electric seed, gets a plus one defense boost, and doubles its speed because it loses its item. Um, additionally, we have Rotom to take advantage of the Electric Surge. We have Excadrill, which doesn't take advantage of the Electric Surge, but it doesn't get hurt by the Electric Surge because Electric moves from the opposing team do nothing to Excadrill. And then we have Grimmsnarl to protect all of them. Additionally, we have Reuniclus, which I just plucked right off my Hail Trick Room team from the last video. Uh, and uh, threw it onto this team because Pinkurchin's uh, side strategy is that it has Curse. Um, and there's been a couple of scenarios in which Reuniclus can come in the back, set up a Trick Room, and then Pinkurchin sweeps. I mean, it sounds crazy until you watch it happen. That's all I'm saying. Uh, if you're excited to see Pinkurchin take on the VGC ladder, go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch and YouTube. I'm streaming on YouTube right now, but this video will most likely go up as a separate video on YouTube uh, before we get started. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, go ahead and comment, do all those things. And if you didn't watch my Hail Trick Room video, uh, oh boy, there was a couple of them and you should go check them out now because <laughs> I want people to watch my videos. Go figure. Uh, okay, that's the that's the team. There's the code. I'm also going to put it in the description um, with a pokey paste as well. So we're going to get started. Wow, I don't know why it's taking so long to find people. It feels like a lot of people are playing right now. Just waiting. Took long enough, jeez. We're gonna battle against Dakota. We're gonna play against Dakota, if that's cool with you guys. Uh, okay, team. What is that? What is that? Ew. Ew, I mean, Trick Room. Trick Room. Um. Let's lead. Pincursion Rotom. And let's bring Reuniclus. And actually, we should just. Let's just. Uh huh. Yeah, no, actually, here's what we do you lead Pincursion, Grimmsnarl, and you bring Rotom and Reuniclus in the back. It's so weird, we're not bringing Halucha. That's like the main uh, gimmick, but. Let's try this. Yeah, let's try that. Did I do that right? I did that right. Um, what I like about this team is that there's a lot of boosting that can happen between... Pinkurchin sets up the special attackers and they all complement each other well, and Halucha complements Excadrill really well. Uh, so it's nice. Whenever, like, no matter who's Dynamaxing, you can shift which way you want to play it uh, based on which stats are getting boosted. The Pink Urchin unit is running Poison Jab uh, for Whimsicott, and, and when you Dynamax Pink Urchin, which you sometimes do, uh, you can set... Oh, this is interesting. Here's what you do. You curse, and you fake out that thing. Uh, you can use Max Ooze and boost um, Reuniclus's special attack as well as Rotom's special attack, which is kind of a fun, fun little trick. Uh, what if he Dynamaxes his Neuburn? That could be bad. 
He's going to set up the Psychic Surge because he's scared of Halucha. Halucha is not even in this battle, my friend. Oh, actually, I'm not going to get to fake out now either. So that's... Oh, I did get to fake? Oh, because it's flying? Because it's flying, I can use... That's good to know. I can use priority moves against it because it's not affected by uh, psychic terrain. Weird. Weird. I think I might Dynamax Pink Urchin. I think I might do it to reset uh, electric terrain. Just for fun. Just to do it. Yeah, let's get it going. Uh, and let's light screen because they're both special attackers. I wonder what Indeed is gonna do. Is it gonna is it gonna follow me? I'm okay with that. Oh, okay, they're gonna Dynamax. Um, that's got to be the Noivern, which makes me glad that I Dynamax Pink Urchin, because that's undoubtedly who he's going for. He's gonna go for a, a Max Dragon move. Oh, he Dynamax the Indeedy? Why? Ew! Look at it. <laughs> Yuck. Oh, I hate that Pokemon's design. I like it. I used it in my Galeri Newcomers team with GMAX Grimmsnarl. If you haven't watched those videos, go ahead and check that out. They're on my channel. Um, and, it, and it worked well with Grimmsnarl, but man, that is like just an unattractive Pokemon. Now that's an attractive Pokemon. Look at that boy. Look at that Wrecking Ball. Light screen goes up. Let's see if he goes for a psychic move into Tailwind. Okay. That's interesting. So, not Trick Room. Max Mindstorm doesn't even do half. Thank you. And it's going to do even less in this next turn, because guess who just got the <laughs> Electric Terrain up and took out the Noivern? That's my buddy Pink Kirchen. You know why? Because Pinkurchin is searching for wins. I can't stress that enough. It's not, it's not... He's not messing around. Okay? Look, he's got a he's got a butt on his face. If you look at it at a certain... It's... I don't know what else to say. Communicating. We just blew this Noivern so far off the face of the earth that it hit a satellite and blew our Wi Fi. Or this guy's so stunned that we're using Pinkurchin. Okay, here comes Cofagrigus. Weird. Uh, you're, you have Tailwind up. I don't know really what you're about to try and do here, but. Um, we could go, we could hit like a reflect if we really wanted to, or we could go for a, nah man, I want to go for the max lightning, once again into Cofagragus, and we can spirit break the Indeedee just to lower its special attack. I'll bet Cofagragus goes for a Will-O-Wisp into Pink Urchin here. But that's okay, it's just a terrain war at this point. A terrain war which we're gonna win because we're slower. Max Mindstorm. In the pink urchin. It's gonna knock us just below half. I want I don't know if we'll win another or if we'll we'll survive another one. We do get a little bit of life for uh, uh, leftovers. Oh, that just popped a psychic seed. On old Kofagrigus there. Oh, Kofagrigus went for an attack. Interesting. Spirit Break. Oh, right. We're going to lower the special attack. Hmm. I don't know if that'll do it, but let's see. Let's see how much this does, because this is physical attack. Nice. Reset the electric terrain. That's what I wanted. But that Kofagrigus is also a special attacker. So is it all special attackers? It is. Because it also, uh, uh, they also brought Rotom. So this is all special attackers. Grimmsnarl is set up really great for this game. And I can actually max guard to keep the uh, the psychic terrain up. And I can spirit break into Cofagragus. 
Yeah, that's what I want to do. Electric train's here to stay. And we get a little bit more leftovers recovery. I don't know if it'll help us live on the next turn. It probably won't. But it'll at least burn their last turn at Dynamax. Uh, and get a little bit of chip damage off on that Cofagrigus. Look at my boy. I don't know about you, that looks like a that looks like a thumbnail to me. Body press? Oh. Everybody's going after Pinkurchin. The biggest threat in the game. We're gonna lose our prankster, but that's okay. We get mummy now. We get some leftovers and we keep up that. Psychic terrain, baby. And that means that if the Coffarius is somewhere weird like rest set, which I know it I know you never see Coffagrigus's, but when you do, sometimes they run rest. Uh, so if it is that, we don't have to worry about that too much. Um, we're gonna double up into Coffagrigus. I'm really not scared of Indeedy at all. Especially now that it can't set its psychic terrain. It might switch out so that it can reset it later, but I don't I don't know why it's prioritizing the Psychic Terrain, really. And I'd rather get rid of this uh, Coffer Grigus so that it can't... Oh, it's setting up its own light screen. We are not special attackers, so that's an interesting move. Body Press It's not even going to kill Pinkurchin. So actually, Pinkurchin's going to attack Indeedee here, because that's going to take the kill on Coffer Grigus. <laughs> Let's go! Don't forget, we had that first uh, curse boost, too, so we are at plus one defense. And wow, look at that. See what that just did to Indeedee? Pinkurchin, the legend. And I don't know if you caught it, but you know we got Pinkurchin on our shirt, too. And I'll let, I'll let the animation play. Let's circle around this whole battle stadium, too, we can catch that sick Pinkurchin decal. Oh, close. Where is he? Where is he? Ooh. Uh, let's zing zap the Rotom. And let's... Spirit Break. Oh, they haven't um, Dynamax yet, have they? That's okay. Uh, let's... I said Spirit Bomb. Let's Spirit Break the Indeedy. There's the Pink Archer t-shirt I wanted y'all to see. Uh, Indeedy goes down on this turn. And they're going to max their rope. Oh no, they maxed Indeedy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Follow me. We were going after you anyway, buddy. Thunderbolt in two. Wow, you're still not going after Pinkurchin. You disrespect Pinkurchin that much. <laughs> oh, dude. It's over. It's absolutely over. Watch this. Uh, I mean, what? What did you think was gonna happen? I had, I'm not even gonna go to my back two Pokemon in this game. This game is so far over. It's actually wild. I mean, forfeit. Like uh, the opposing trainer should just forfeit. There you go. Yeah. I mean, it's not our opponent's fault. It. I mean, Pinkurchin should be in Ubers. Uh, but it's not. Luckily, they haven't banned it yet, um, and we can just keep using it on the ladder. Uh, no. In the fog. Let's go, Neto. Nito? Mmm, okay. That's not a Trick Room team at all. But do we want to bring Trick Room? That's the question. I think we bring Haluch in the back. No matter what. Or, alternatively, the front. Hmm. 
Uh, I actually do like uh, Holucha a lot in this game, but I, I don't want to lead it just for the fact that Arcanine, I think, is probably going to lead and try and get the Intimidate off on Holucha, and we're just not going to let that happen because we're not going to lead Holucha. Make sense? So let's lead... Um, let's lead Rotom and... Huh, I could lead Rotom Excadrill and bring Pinkurchin and Holucha in the back. Or I could lead Rotom Grimmsnarl and bring Pinkurchin and Holucha in the back. Which would I rather do? They don't have good answers for uh, Grimmsnarl, which makes me want to bring Grimmsnarl, honestly. They also have really bad answers for Excadrill, but I think, I think Grimmsnarl is the play. So Rotom, Grimmsnarl, but then we're going to bring our boys in the back. The idiot twins are going to come up in the rear. And uh, don't don't think too hard about that sentence. All right, let's go, Nito. That's a oh, I like that backdrop. I like my I like an ice cream backdrop for when I run my hail team. Oh, that's such a sick shiny. Very cool, very cool. Uh, interesting brings though. Uh, oh, Gardevoir is going to get Prankster. That's concerning to a certain extent. Uh, we're going to try and Willow Esp this Passimian. Question is, do you reflect? I think you reflect because I think. Yeah, I think I'd rather reflect. It's kind of a toss up. One's special attacking, one's physical attacking, but I'm more concerned with the Passimian. So let's reflect. Passimian's going out. Can we get the Tyranitar? No, the Arcanine. That was smart. That was smart. It bait, I don't know if they intentionally baited the Will-O-Wisp, but we're not going to get our Will-O-Wisp off. At least we do get the Reflect up, though. Uh, and uh, one of them could have Brick Break, but okay, how much is this going to do the Rotom? It actually isn't. Is that half? That is... Oh my gosh, wow, that's one point away from half damage, so with a roll, it could go either way. Uh, a bit concerning, sure. I think we're going to ally switch just so we can get the light screen up. There's no way they don't go for another Psychic into Rotom. So let's ally switch, let's get the light screen up so we just we're set for the rest of the game. Arcanine's leaving, who's coming out, past Simeon. Interesting. Does it get an ability now or something? No. No, it's Defiant. It has a weird ability called Receiver, which lets it take abilities or take something from its allies, but I think it's only when they die or... Okay, so I do wish I'd attacked on that turn with Rotom because that obviously didn't do anything for us. Um, and now we Spirit Break Gardevoir and we try and Will-O-Wisp the Pest Simeon. I doubt they'd do another switch, like, why Why would they? Um, they're not going to kill Grimmsnarl, but they do crit Rotom. I was going to say, I don't think Rotom would have died there behind the light screen. Uh, now they're going to get the double KO. So we have some, we have some ground to cover. The only um, nice thing being that we have the screens up. Again, that's not much, especially because they have Arcanine in the back, meaning they can just... Um, they can just... Intimidate us at some point, but what we, we have a plus one defense boost. And we can... I, I think I want to... I want to Poison Jab into Gardevoir, and I want to... Dynamax and Protect? That's what I want to do, because I would love to take out that Gardevoir without get it getting any damage off on Halucha. So now we can get big. Here's another thing about this team uh, that I think makes it work so well is that... I'd say that we're down by two Pokemon. Um, 
Pink Kerchin, unless it's Dynamaxed, is never the target. They always go after Halucha. They always go after whoever's sitting next to Pink Kerchin, because that's the bigger threat. Having no idea that Pink Kerchin's sitting there, and it has a really great attack stat. Um, that looks like Gardevoir is getting big. Yep. Let's see, let's hopefully it goes for a max move into Halucha. We get the guard up. Yep, protect ourselves. Passimian's gonna rock slide, protect ourselves there again. It's gonna hit Pincursion a little bit, don't flinch us though. We get the poison jab off. That does some slick damage. And we get the poison, just for a little bit more chip in between there. So that hopefully on this next turn, we can, oh. I hope uh, Max Steel Spike kills Gardevoir now. I don't know that it does, but I'm actually gonna curse here at Max Steel Spike. I think that's honestly our best course of action. But we have to kill with this Max Steel Spike is the thing. So let's try. It is an adamant. Holucha, so it's as, it's as physically attack. They should. Oh, they max guarded. That's very interesting. That's very interesting. What they should do, honestly. Close combat into Holucha. I don't agree with that play. What they should do is they should switch out their Passimian into Arcanine and get the attack drop now that they know what we're going for here. They're gonna get one more turn of, uh, of poison damage, which I like to see. I do think that Max Steel Spike's gonna kill that thing. I have a good feeling about it. Oh, that's why. That is why. Okay, I don't know about it now. <laughs> Maybe we should just, honestly. I'm gonna Zing Zap past Simeon and I'm gonna Max guard. I. This is a very strange chess match we're having right now. Yep, here comes the Ar Arcanine. So now Pinkurchin's at neutral attack and plus one defense. Max Starfall doesn't hit. And we still have the boost from the electric terrain to zing zap into Arcanine. Let's see how much it does. That's a solid amount of damage. I like to see it. And we're gonna heal back up to full. And they're gonna get hit by their poison. Knock them right back around where they were before uh, they pop their berry. This is very interesting. Are you guys interested? Because <laughs> this is interesting. This is a great match. Uh, okay. He said, still down by two, fighting tooth and nail. Uh, okay, we're gonna zing zap Arcanine and we have to, have to, have to kill with Iron Head here. We have to. We get the kill. They might have wild charge on their Arcanine. So let's see about that. Yep, wild charge. That's not going to kill Halucha, thanks to the Electric Seed boost. And actually... Wow, okay. Wow, okay, okay. <laughs> Pink Urchin, you... You monster. Okay. Suddenly things are very interesting, aren't they? Is that a weakness policy, Tyranitar? There's an obvious play here, which is which is the close combat into the Tyranitar. However, I think that that's the obvious play they want me to make, and they're going to protect with their Tyranitar. I think that you actually go for. I think you actually go for. Curse and you go for acrobatics into the past simian. 
And then I think we can... Yep, there's protect on... Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Yo. Did you, did you guys see me call that? There's the close combat. That'll kill Halucha. But it also lowers their defenses. All right, I don't know if I'm gonna win this. I did, I did think that, um, I did think that acrobatics was gonna do more damage to the pessimi in there. But let's see. Pessimi gets hurt by the sand a little bit. That doesn't, that doesn't hurt us. And Pinkerton's sitting at plus two right now. Plus two defense. Our reflect just wore off. Uh, that's bad. I think we're probably gonna lose now. I do think we're gonna lose now. We're at plus two defense and plus one attack. Minus two defense, or minus one defense, minus one special defense. Um, I feel okay about, uh, yeah, I think we have to zing that. I think we have to go into the Passimian. I don't wanna pop the Tyranitar's weakness policy if it has it. It's gonna rock slide, try to flinch us. That's doing nothing. It's gonna try and double flinch. We actually avoid that, and we get the zing zap off. Okay, things just got way more interesting again. Oh, Connor, I'm on the big screen. That's hilarious. Uh, just streaming my face on a big screen. Um, okay, okay, this is wild. What you actually just do here is you just keep cursing. I think you just keep cursing because there's a chance this guy has an item called weakness policy which means that if I hit it once with a super effective attack it'll raise its attack stat so I think you just sit here mm, I don't know how many more of those we can take although curse does boost our defense or, or yeah it does so we can just keep trying to live those things I think you might just let's get that leftovers health I think we can get one more curse off and then go for a, for a liquidation. That's what my gut's telling me right now. Let's see. This will be a comfort behind victory. They missed the rock slide. Huge, huge. Oh my God, that's huge. Okay. Okay, <laughs> come on, Pinkurchin. <laughs> Let's go, buddy. Let's go, buddy. We get one more curse. Come on, come on, come on. We get the curse off. Wow, Sandstorm subsides, so that helps. We can regain some more health there and not get hurt by the Sandstorm anymore. Do we go for full? I think we might have to go for full curse. Let's do it. One more, last curse. I mean, they could crit us and, and it all goes to hell. Wow, that still does so much damage. Okay, now we should have a couple of shots here. I mean, now the question becomes, do you go for Zing Zap or do you go for Liquidation? I think you go for Liquidation. Liquidation's gonna, it, we're at plus five attack. Let's do it, come on, for the win. Come on, Pink Urchin, don't flinch. Okay, it flinched, it flinched. <laughs> oh my god. This is insane. Okay. Come on, Pink Urchin. Come on, Pink Urchin. Oh, come on, buddy. Miss the rock slides. We can live another one. We get the liquidation off. Yeah, baby! Oh man, we were down two to four. And Pinkurchin is the 
win condition. That is money. That is money right there. That is Pink Kirchen at its finest. Um, I have a couple guys watching who are not big Pokemon guys. They're enjoying watching this. Pink Urchin, nobody uses Pink Urchin. It is not considered a good Pokemon. And we're proving that wrong right now, right here, tonight. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. Uh, this is really weird. There's people watching me on the stream right now, but whatever. Um, if you liked this stream, if you liked this video, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Um, we're getting a little bit more people watching, and it's really fun for the people who are tuning in. Uh, they're mostly people that I know in real life, so uh, it's fun regardless. But uh, we'd love to get other people involved, right? Isn't that the point? Um, Pinkurchin is amazing. Uh, if you didn't get that from this video, you didn't watch it. Uh, and here's the code for the team. It's also in the description below, along with a pokey paste. Um, that is if you're watching this video on YouTube afterwards. And be sure to go ahead and follow me on the things above. Uh, I'm going to be doing just more and more of this. And I'll tell you what, this team was so fun that I might I might stream it some more, even. Because uh, I love Pink Urchin. It's one of my favorite Pokemon, just from, just from being able to use it on ladder this time. Um, so hey, yeah, thank you so much. And uh, I will see you next time later.